to all of you beautiful beings. It's Lena and I'm enchanted to be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you. Amazing, fantastic, incredible, beautiful, and lovely souls right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs, and hopefully you and yours are safe. On today's video, as the title suggests, we are doing a Witches Moon triple unboxing for the month of November. This is my birthday month, so I am super excited to see what kind of goodies that they've stay, that they've curated for this month. Um, I get all three tiers of their subscriptions. I get the Witches Moon, the Witches Roots and the Witches Bounty. I am not sponsored or affiliated with them, but they are kind enough to gift me the Witches Roots box so that I can continue sharing all these goodies with you. Now, this is a monthly subscription box and it's filled with a whole bunch of witchy goodies, as I'm sure you guessed by now. The Witches Roots is based around a specific herb every month. The Witch's Bounty is based around a sacred jewelry or a specific magical piece of jewelry. And I have just been loving all of their creations. They have been amazing thus far. And the Witch's Moon kind of has a little bit of everything, but it's more so to build up your altar, your witchy cabinet and that sort of stuff. All of them have been amazing. I've been a subscriber of them for two years now, about two years. And let me stop talking and get into the good stuff because I am excited to see what is in here. Ta-da! Smells minty. Definitely smells minty in here. Mmm, I like minty smell. Now every box has their own theme, but there is something in these boxes that's kind of the same throughout. So every box has a candle, has a specific, has a sacred oil or like a sacred spray, something to work alongside with your meditations and intentions. All of them have incense of some sort, usually incense sticks, and all of them have a glorious piece of artwork. Their art has been my favorite art from any subscription box that I've tried thus far. And not only is it beautiful and aesthetic and just mwah, they also have really good information in it. Okay, I'm done talking. So this is their information pamphlet. We shall read it last. Here we have the inside of it. As you can see, the artwork is right at the top. We first have, ooh. a little moon card or a little oracle card. And this is for the waxing gibbous. And it says, I am open and responsive to the abundance of the universe. Yes. I'm gonna read this again and like you repeat it with me because we are all open, because we are open and responsive to the abundance of the universe that it will give us. All right, I also see a bookmark. It's not a stick. So I also see a bookmark. Cool. I am an avid reader, so bookmarks are always quite nice, especially since I read more than one book at a time. <laughs> Let me know if you're like that, if you have to read more than one book at a time, because I get like different genres and I have to jump between them. Anyways, that'll be a different conversation for like a book type video. So we have, ooh, Zodiac stuff. Cool. So artwork on the Zodiacs, brief little description and information, that sort of thing. And do you see like the style of, of, of their art? Just love it so much. Something so magical and witchy about it. Oh, come out. Not only is it beautiful and magical and witchy, 
It also has good information. So that's always important. We have Skullcap. That is the herb for this month. Very cool. All right, let's see. So obviously we have the Skullcap herb. I didn't think Skullcap smells minty. No, that's kind of like a sweet grass tea-like smell a little bit. So they give a decent amount. Oh, look at that, it matches my sweater. Nice. And then we also have Zodiac Guide Ritual Tea. Is this what's minty? It smells, it smells a little minty. So we have two tea bags in here. Cool. They don't often do tea like this, but I like that. We also have their Celestial Stinky Sticks. Um, Celestial Myrrh. Let's give this a smell. What smells minty in there? I don't know. This doesn't smell minty. This smells like myrrh. Um, yeah, it has that sweet, slightly perfumey smell to it. I'm only going to show one bag of the incense sticks because the rest are going to look just the same if they're included. <laughs> Sometimes they do cones and like other things, but yeah, cool. Um, I do see a candle of theirs. Let me get in there. Come on. I wonder if it's anointed or not. Um, it appears to be. We have some glitter. Yeah, we have a glittery black candle. Definitely kind of goes with like the zodiac theme of stars and a night sky. I, I get the vibe they're going for. It works. I'm gonna tuck that in so that I don't get glitter bombed all over my desk. Ready to get some. Um, all right, we also have a crystal. Maybe it's a sunstone. I don't know, we shall read about it. I like to guess to see if I can guess correctly, but I'm losing my touch a little bit since I haven't been doing unboxing as consistently. So mayhaps this is a sunstone. We shall see. And then the last thing that we have in here is a little bit of astrology. Little booklet like this. And I have a couple of these on different themes. I think I have palmistry. Um, sleep, something like that that came in boxes. So these are cute little brief bits of information. I like these books. Um, they're not like super in depth, but it does give you a good starting point. And this publisher has a lot of like book series on a little bit of some sort of craft. That is it for the inside of this box. Guess we're not having an oil this time, but we are getting tea. That's pretty cool. Um, right. Chucking it all in as neatly as I can. And let's read about the goodies we have. Okay. Kind of neatly. Neat enough, right? So this is the astrology collection. 
And the start says, as we settle into our divinatory rituals and shadow work, we begin to pull information from all of the resources that are available to us, including the wisdom of the stars and planets, learning to understand how they impact our world and how they can be used as tools of planning and perception. In this very special astrology collection, we travel through the zodiac to reintroduce ourselves to our higher self. The magical items in this box are as follows. So we have the skull cap herb, including it in herbal bath mixtures, brings really from stressful experiences, allowing yourself to cut the ties of worrying and overthinking, additional its ability to bring calm and restorative energies to our work. Skullcap has the strength to push away all negativity from our space, purifying our surroundings, and it's a good herb to use pre-rituals and incense blends. Cool, we have the Skullcap artwork. Then a little bit of astrology booklet. Then we have the Zodiac Book of Shadows reference page. Then we have the Witch's Moon Zodiac Design bookmark. It'll go great with the little book that they gave. Then we have the Zodiac Guide Ritual Tea created with Spearmint. Oh, that's the mintiness, but it just... It has a little bit of mintiness to it, but not as much as like when I opened the box. Like it's minty, but when it, I, maybe it's just that minty. Cool. So the tea, it's spearmint tea. We have golden aventurine. Ah, I was wrong. I was hoping it's a sunstone. I like working with sunstone. We have included a tumbled yellow golden aventurine into this collection to activate the solar plexus and reawaken our personal will. Then we have the Celestial Myrrh Ritual Incense Sticks. Starlight Mini Spell Candle. Ha, I told you I knew what vibe they were going for. And the Personalized Oracle Card Reading. Awesome. Great box. Definitely like that box. I'm excited for the spearmint too. I will have it while I'm editing this video. Then next we have the Witch's Moon and kind of heavy. These boxes are vary from month to month on heaviness and honestly I'm just always so excited just to see what's in here. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Smells very herby but not like a distinct type of, oh the artwork got stuck up here. We have their information pamphlet. Scooch that over there. And we then have, ooh, ooh, we get three pieces of art from them. We have the Prophecy of Edda spell or poem, not entirely sure. Then we have the Bifrost Bridge information, ooh. And lastly, we have, oh, I'm going to struggle pronouncing it, Idrasil. I think it's Idrasu. Something like that. And it's the um Wow. Norse <sighs> Norse worlds and how they're connected through like their, their tree. Um, <laughs> Sacred world tree of the nine realms. I was blanking. I was recording a different video earlier today and I just could not talk. So I'm hoping this one, I will have better speech. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art. I love it. We have Asgard. Midgard, and all the other nine realms. Awesome. So this is the Bifrost Bridge formation. And this is the way of travel between the worlds. Then we have this incantation or poem or spell. I'm sure we'll read more about it. I just 
your art is just, just, just makes me so happy. <laughs> All right, starting off with the candle. Get a nice long candle, this one. Ooh, white one. And this one is not anointed. Cool, cool. Hopefully my camera focuses well. Sometimes it struggles. I think my red nails are helping it to get in focus easier today. I'm gonna leave that there. Don't roll away. Um, let's see what else we have. We have a couple herb packets. Uh, seems like two. We have balder. Seems like an incense mix because I see lavender and rosemary in here and something else. And then we have plantain leaf. Ooh. So this is the plantain leaf. Again, a nice good sized packet of herbs. And an herb mix. Possibly an incense mix. We shall read more about it to find out. Let me see if I could smell what the other one is. There's definitely lavender, definitely rosemary. Maybe something minty? I don't know. All right, what else? We have bath salts. Uh, Alfamer? Alfamer? Am I pronouncing it correctly? So, that's the name of it. I can't really show you the inside of it, but it's... Hold on, that was really strong smell. Woo! Oh, what does it remind me of? Coriander? No. Oh my gosh, it has this, it has the specific smell. It's, it's a spice that's used on Russian bread. I can't remember the name of it. It smells really good, it smells really fresh. But I don't see herbs in here, it's just, Salt, so I assume they're using oils. Oh, let's see if that would work. Something like that. I'm gonna think of it at some point. I'm really bad with names. If, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm really bad with names. It's like there, but not close enough. Okay, on to the next item. I have a little cup. Ooh. A copper cup. I wonder, oh, a very pretty copper cup. I wonder if they're intending this to be used to burn the incense. Pretty. Very shiny and very pretty. I like the tree of life decorations on it. That is so pretty. I wonder if the mess on the other side of my room is reflected in there. <laughs> I'm like a crow when it comes to shiny things. I'm all like, ooh, shiny. Okay, um, we have oil. The ritual oil, and this one is called Idrisil. 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 Something like that. Let's see what this one smells like. It has a sweetness to it. Almost kind of reminds me of cough syrup a little bit. 
maybe a little bit of lavender. I can't really tell what is in here, but we'll read about it. It has a little bit of like a sweet syrupy smell to it and with like herbal undertones. I wish there was smell vision. That'd be kind of cool. We have their stinky sticks called, oh, and someone's hair from, oh gosh, it's like stuck under the, I get a gift from their packaging people. So we have favored future incense sticks. Now I have their DNA. Whoa. This smells a little bit like a men's cologne, but lighter and cleaner. Almost like a men's cologne and laundry detergent mix. <laughs> Is that a weird description? It smells good. I like the way it smells. So we have stinky sticks. We got a couple more things in here. We have a rock, a crystal of some sort. Ooh, a pretty pearl crystal. I believe this is amethyst. Again, I could be wrong. There are so many more crystals in circulation now than there have been before, which is just amazing. So a nice little tumbled crystal piece, which I think it's amethyst. We also have, ooh. Oh, these seem like cards. My collection just keeps growing. Ooh, oracle cards. Norse based oracle cards. Let's see how much I'm gonna struggle with this packaging. Because plastic is not my friend. There has been one set of tarot cards, tarot cards, oracle cards, one set of oracle cards that I have done a review on that have really thought through about the packaging. I'm, I'm gonna link their unboxing above there. So we have a very thick, I was like, this is a good sized oracle cards. And, ooh, it's on the deities. Oh, I like that. I like the art. I really love this whole sketched pencil art type of look to it. Nice. So you should let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do a more in-depth review of these. So this is the back of the cards and I'm going to show you a couple in the front. Let's do like two at a time. So some of the artwork and another set of two. I really like this type of artwork. Nice. I'm looking forward to working with these. Awesome. All right. I like how they provided a little baggie to hold all of these in since they didn't come in a box. So there is no box, no, um, like full description of these. It just has the little description on the bottom, which works great for like quick little readings. And last but not least, we have a 
a booklet of some sort. Maybe it goes with that. Hmm. Yes! Um, the Bifrost Guide to the Inkjustil. So, okay, this is the booklet for the cards. Cool. I wonder if they took apart or like got them without the original packaging that these come in so that it would fit in their box because usually it would be like packaged together in a larger box, but it wouldn't exactly fit in this box. So I think I'm theorizing that is what happened. So this is the booklet for these cards. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing a review on these. I really like them. Also, I like the different size of this booklet. That first like crack of a spine in a hard covered book. Someone gonna yell at me for it, but it just sounds so good. And the way the books smell. <laughs> so we have much more information per card here. Awesome. That one doesn't really show much. I am totally looking forward to working with these. And learning more about this. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that is it for this box other than squiggles. I'm gonna tuck it all in. And let's read all about it. And then just gonna make room. Nope. No falling. No falling. Okay. Okay. It's not falling. Uh, oh, I forgot. They have. I get earpuff. Diligence and resourcefulness. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> that makes sense for my recent ambitions. So this is one of the cards that would be in that card deck. Now I got an extra one. All the um, like extra oracle cards and like tarot cards and that sort of things that I get in boxes, I keep them in a little binder with all of the artwork of my Witches Moon, Witches Roots artwork stuff in a binder, which I might just do like a really quick flip through video of that. I had a couple people interested in seeing my, my collection. All right, so we have the Yggdrasil Norse divination cards with a hardcover guidebook, limited edition. Awesome. Then we have the Yggdrasil Book of Shadows artwork, the Bifrost Book of Shadows artwork, um, the Prophecy of Edda artwork. And this wonderful poems com poem comes from the Baluspa, which tells the story of the creation of the world and its coming end and subsequent rebirth. Ooh. Cool. Then there's the Copper Tree of Life Offering Bowl. Ah, it is an offering bowl. I, I was hoping they were not intended to use it as like burning incense thing because it's just super, super pretty. But as an offering bowl, it would be perfect. Then they have the Ancient Deity Spell Candle. And then we have the Magical Anointing Oil. It has yang yang, cedarwood, basil, lavender, oak bark, and basil herbs. I think the yang yang is what giving it that like sweetness to it. We also have the alfemur, alfemur, alfemur ritual sacred salt, which has the oils of lavender, spearmint, basil, and a mixture of their dreamwork magical oil. Ooh. I think their main Dreamwork magical oil is kind of the thing that I'm smelling, was smelling. Then we have the plantain leaf, 
It's known for its protective qualities, helps to ward off evil, and is used as a good luck talisman. And as an offering to deities, then we have Baldur, ritual, herbal, blend, and offering. An amethyst stone, it's known for its protective and purifying qualities and its wonderful ability to connect us with the divine. Personalized oracle reading and parchment paper. Oh, I didn't read the, sorry, this is the Yggdrasil box and this is their introduction. We delve deep into divination during this wonderful dark time of year, pushing the boundaries of our comfort so that we may face the honest truth about our past, present, and future. In this extraordinary collection, we bring limited edition divinatory items to our practice and craft, focusing on the ancient tales and lore of the Nordic tradition. As we focus on our development and purpose, we sit against Yggdrasil, the ash tree of life, to fall into the wonderful symbols and strength of the old ways. In this truly one-of-a-kind collection, we connect with gods and goddesses, giants and elves, future and fate, sure to help guide you through these darker months in preparation for the blessings to come. The magical items in this box are as followed, and we have already gone through that already. Every box has limited editions in their stuff, and just so... I don't know, it's one of my favorite boxes. I'm gonna keep getting them until until they no longer make them, which I hope never ends. So there is, oh, what am I doing? I tuck it in here. Last but not least, we have the Witch's Bounty. And I'm excited to see what pendant they have for this month. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Ta-da! Ooh, pretty. Got tangled in my own hair. Minor hair repair break. There's a lot of it. We have their information pamphlet. Then we have Galaxy Obsidian. I like how all I think every every pendant that I received had um, like an artwork or the crystal that's in the pendant. My hair. What is going on with it and why is it tickling? And it, they always turned it into like a goddess type of crystal. So beautiful colors. I love this one. It's called Galaxy Obsidian. We're gonna get to that one last. All right, so getting to their oil. We have Omen Queen. Ooh, that sounds ominous. What does it smell like? Does it smell ominous? Ooh, it smells green. <laughs> It has like a minty, mentholy, slightly sweet. I think there's, I think there's clove in here. It smells nice. It smells clean, like a snow covered forest a little bit. Or, or like a winter tea a little bit. Speaking of almonds, on my website, I do tarot and divinatory readings. Um, I'm gonna link my website up at the top and down in the description below. And I'm actually certified in the study of omens and prophecies through Harvard. So yeah, I didn't know they had certificate for that either, but I found it, I took it, and I'm certified in divination. Well, not that you need to be certified in divination. I've been a practitioner for over 15 years, so, um, I think the, the experience is a lot more important. <laughs> and we have a very interesting stone. Cool, cool. This 
then we have their candle. Let's see what we got here. Open. Are you anointed? Doesn't seem to be. We have a nice bright red candle to go with my nails. <laughs> Pretty. I don't think we had a red candle in a while. It's a very nice red color. Toss that out. Um, incense sticks called Dark Rose. That smells nice. It smells light and light and florally. Possibly it's made of rose. They never really disclose what's in their incense sticks, but it smells nice. It smells light and slightly like herby floral type of scent to it. Okay. On to the main attraction of this box. Let's see what we have. Their boxes, like for the jewelry, is always so fancy and it's like squishy. This is stunning. Wow, this is a beautiful piece. I love the details. Definitely been like a little bit of a Norse theme between the witch's moon and this one, because it has like the details of it reminds me of it. And this black spinel galaxy obsidian sterling silver pendant. And it, it might be, I don't know. It's stunning. Like I'd mentioned right at the beginning of this video, their jewelry pieces are just a delight. Now this could be used as a pendant, but it could also be used as a pendulum. It would definitely become like a ritual jewelry piece for me. I'm mesmerized, absolutely enthralled. Wow. Okay. Let's read about the goodies for this box. So this is called the Morgan. That explains the details. As we shift into the dark months, we call up on the dark goddess for guidance, confidence, and introspection. This is truly a time where we have the opportunity to make transformation and growth a priority. In this very special and exclusive collection, we have created a unique design to honor the great Morgan as she helps us face our deepest and most neglected fears and insecurities. Ooh. So the Galaxy Obsidian and Black Spinel Morgan Pendant. So the Morgan is the Celtic goddess of death and has been a prominent goddess energy within our practices for several years, encouraging us to bring power and perseverance into our work. Known for foretelling the outcomes of war and battles, she is often represented as being the embodiment of a raven or crow. A beautiful piece. Then we have the Omen Magical Anointing Oil. It has clove, black pepper, rose, frankincense, as well as rose, clove, and vervain herbs. We also have the Dark Rose Ritual Incense Sticks, Goddess Passion Hand Rolled Spell Candle, Plum Blossom Jade Tumble Stone. Ooh. Then we have the Galaxy Obsidian Book of Shadows artwork. A wonderful box. Okay. 
after this video, I'm gonna do a good maybe 20 minutes of staring at this and just enjoying its fantastic designs. I'm gonna show it to you one more time because it is, it is meant to be admired. <laughs> It is so, so pretty. Okay. All right, so here are the three boxes for November. Hopefully you enjoyed unboxing and checking out the goodies with me. Let me know what your favorite item was between these three boxes. Um, hands down, <laughs> this pendant for me, it's like, I don't know. I. get back in here. I think this is the first pendant that I just feel super drawn to. Like, I don't want to put it down. So that's interesting. Like, I really don't want to put it, I just want to keep holding it. Hmm. Definitely have to work and meditate with it a little bit more later on. All right, so definitely love this. <laughs> very much um aesthetically and spiritually i guess and i really like that copper bowl and the oracle cards so let me know which what your thoughts are on the curation for those boxes this month and i hope you enjoyed the video if you made it all the way to the end Let's do a bird emoji down in the comment section below. I don't know, would they have, would there be a crow emoji? I know there are some birds, but if there's a crow emoji, do I, I should probably look at the emojis before I do these videos, but if there's a crow emoji, do a crow emoji. If not, any kind of bird emoji would do down in the comment section below. All right, so hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe. We have tons of magical fun here and I'll see you on the next video. Love you all.